Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to install NVM on macOS. NVM is the Node version manager and is the preferred tool if you need to switch between different Node.js versions. I'm going to show you how to set it up, how to install it, how to install Node using NVM and how to switch between different versions. All right, to install it, we have two different ways. We can either go ahead and we can do brew so we use homebrew and in case you don't have that installed i leave a link to the written guide in the video description below that you can pull up and there is written exactly how you can install homebrew and this is the easiest way to install it we also have a different way to install it which is by using curl or wget but most of you will probably use brew anyway so we do that brew install nvm is what we run first and if we run that command it's going to download it and it's going to install it and it's actually going to install the latest version. As you can see, I already have Node installed. I have uh, the Node version manager installed, so it's up to date and uh, it's just working fine. In case you want to use curl, you don't want to install homebrew, you can do curl and then a minus O minus HTTPS and there it's turning up already. This is the command that we need. And uh, if you want to just type that, pause the video quickly and type that off and then you hit enter and install it using that command. Now, which either way you choose for this to work, you need to restart your terminal. So you just close your terminal, you open it up again that your config file gets loaded and then you can go ahead and use NVM. And to actually verify that NVM is installed and working, you can do NVM minus minus version and then you can see that you are currently on the latest version if you followed along with everything so far. Um, the next thing we want to do is of course install node. Now to install the latest version of node we can just do nvm install node and this will automatically download the latest version and I'm getting an error message here because I already have it installed but if you don't have it installed it will automatically download and switch over to the latest version of node. If you want to install the LTS, the latest LTS long-term support version of Node on Mac, you can do nvm install minus minus and then LTS. It actually should work. nvm, I probably wrote something wrong. Install minus minus LTS. There we go. I probably wrote Node, did I? No, I just missed an L on install. Okay, so since I already have that installed too, it will also throw an error here, but never mind this is the way how to do it. Now if you want to list what kind of versions of Node you have installed, you can do nvm list and this shows you exactly the versions that you have installed on your system. Now if you have multiple versions installed and you want to switch to another version, it's very easy to do so. So if you want to switch back to the latest version 19.2.0, we can just simply do nvm use 19.2.0 and we are back on the latest version. Now if you want to install a completely different version of Node.js, you can do a command to list all the available versions that are supported, which are a lot. So you can do NF, uh, nvm ls minus remote and you see all the different versions that are supported with nvm and you can see that goes far, far back. Let's install an older version. Let's do 910. I just copy that always helps and then you just do nvm install and okay i can remember that 910 and we type that in and then it's downloading the version and it's installing it and automatically activating it and it's written there now using node version 1.9.1.0 uh, and that's as simple as it gets so this is as simple as it is to install nvm to use nvm and this is by far the most convenient way to uh, switch between different node versions and it makes it really, really easy to do that. If you like this video, guys, make sure to subscribe to the Humix channel. And if you're watching this on Humix, check out some other videos. I will leave the link to the written guide in the video description below because there are also some additional commands listed that we find are the most important commands to know when working with NVM on a regular basis. So we highly recommend you guys to check that out. And I hope we will see you back in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.